Hey beautiful people, just finishing off where I left off, so I'll finish from the last precept. But know this, it shall be given you what you shall ask. And as you are appointed to the head, the spirit shall be subject unto you. Now doctrine and covenant 71 and 5 to 11. Now behold, this is wisdom. Whoso readeth, let him understand and receiveth also. For unto him that receiveth, it shall be given more abundantly, even power. What does the book of Revelations tell you? In the first chapter, Revelations 1 and 3. Blesses is he that readeth, and they that hear the words of this prophecy, and keep those things which are written therein, for the time is at hand. So blesses he that readeth. All right? Um, doctrine and cousin covenants tells you now behold this is wisdom whoso read it let him understand and receive also for unto him that receives it shall be given more abundantly even more even power wherefore confound your enemies with what with strong reasoning we're going to get there wherefore confound your enemies call upon them to meet you both in public and in private anybody who cannot say something about somebody in, in in their face is because they're lying about them. You people need to stop listening to gossipers and slanderers and people who tell you things about people. You tell them, say it in front of their face. I want you to say it when they're standing here. A lot of you people have went astray from good people because of lying people, because of hypocrites. Now, wherefore, confound your enemies Call upon them to meet you both in public and in private because people say something in public and when they're in private with that same person, they're saying something else. But, and in as much as you are faithful, their shame shall be made fat manifest. You gotta, you see, your public life and your private life must be the same. So when people are talking about others, you shouldn't be a listening ear and a backbiting tongue. You should tell them to say it in front of them. And you'll know who's telling the truth. And you'll know who's envious. And you'll know who's jealous. And you'll know who's wicked. And who's prideful and just wants to debate. Wherefore, let them bring forth their strong reasons against the Lord. Where? In, in public. And in private. Truth. So whatever you're saying in public, you should be able to say it in private because you're speaking the truth. Verily thus says the Lord unto you, there is no weapon that is formed against you shall prosper. Isn't that again in Isaiah 54 and 17? God says, verily thus says the Lord unto you, there is no weapon that is formed against you shall prosper. And if any man lift up his voice against you, he shall be confounded in my own due time. What does Isaiah 54 and 17 tell you? It says, no weapon forged against you shall prosper, and any tongue that rise up against you in judgment shall you condemn. This is the next part of it, because, and if any man lift up his voice against you, he shall be confounded in my own due time. Wherefore, keep my commandments. They are true and faithful. Even so, amen. A great understanding are those who keep God's commandments. So if you want great understanding, in life, in God's word, in general, to have the spirit of understanding, you got to keep God's commandments. Doctrine and Covenants 67 and 2 to 4. Behold, and lo, my eyes are upon you, and the heavens and the earth are in my hands, and the riches of attorney are mine to give. You endeavored to believe that you should receive the blessings which was offered unto you, but behold, verily I say unto you, there were fears in your hearts. The fearful and unbelieving, they're not made perfect in love. Perfect love casts out fear. God is love. When you're close to God, you have love. You're not going to fear anything. When you're not close to God, you're going to fear. Because you're not made perfect in love. Perfect love casts out fear. He gave us power, peace, and love in a sound mind. Is be you're not made perfect in love if you're fearful. And you don't have God near you if you're fearful. Know that. Verily I say unto you, there were fears in your hearts. And verily this is the reason that you did not receive. Because of fear in your hearts, you didn't receive God's word. And now I, the Lord, give unto you a testimony of the truth. 
of these commandments which are lying before you. Now Mormons 9 and 19 to 21. I just thought this should go in here as well. And if there were miracles wrought then, why has God ceased to be a God of miracles and yet be an unchangeable being? And behold, I say unto you, he changes not. He says in, in the book of, he also says in the King James Bible, I'm God and he changes not. It tells you again in the book of Gordon, and God is God and he changes not. If so, he would cease to be God if he changed and he ceased not to be God and is a God of miracles. And the reason why he ceased to do miracles, you know, there's a time among the children of men is because that they dwindled in unbelief and depart from the right way and know not the God in whom they should trust. Behold, I say unto you that whoso believes in Christ, doubting nothing, whatsoever he shall ask the Father in the name of Christ, it shall be granted him. And this promise is unto all, even unto the ends of the earth. So you understand, God's miracles only stop, well, they didn't cease, just, you know, to the people who don't believe, to the unbelievers. But anyone who asks anything in Christ's name, not doubting, they will get it. Because that's the promise God gave unto his creation. And he changes not. He never sees from being the God of miracles. Alma 33 and 20. But few understood the meaning of those things. And this because of the hardness of their hearts. But there were many who were so hardened that they would not look. Yeah, they won't even look to seek out God because their hearts are so hardened. Hearts of stone. I have a video about that. Some people's hearts are just hearts of stone. And it's a spiritual issue. They will not look. Therefore, they perish. Don't let your stony heart make you perish. Now, the reason they would not look is because they did not believe that it would heal them. Remember, God sent his word and healed them. So these people didn't believe God's word would heal them. They reasoned among themselves. Was that good reasoning, people of God? It was bad reasoning. It was horrible reasoning to not believe that God's word would heal them. Now, Doctrine and Covenants 133 and 57 and 62. And for this cause, that men might be made partakers of the glories which were to be revealed. The Lord sent forth the fullness of his gospel, the fullness of his gospel, his everlasting covenant, reasoning and plainness and simplicity. So what a God does? Reasoning in plainness and simplicity. God's truth is plain and it's simple. To prepare the weak for those things which are coming on the earth. And the Lord's Aaron in the day when the weak shall confound the wise. And the little one become a strong nation. And two shall put their tens of thousands to flight. And by the weak things of the earth the Lord shall thrust the nations by the power of his spirit. What is, uh, read your King James Bible. It talks about the weak, he'll confound with the weak things of the earth. And for this cause, these commandments were given. They were commanded to be kept from the world in the day that they were given. But now are to go forth and all flesh, and this according to the mind and will of the Lord, who ruleth over all flesh, and unto him that repenteth and sanctifies himself before the Lord, shall be given eternal life. Remember I said get your house in order, right? And unto him that repenteth and sanctifies himself, wash himself, himself before the Lord shall be given eternal life. Now, this is the end of this video, people of God. Reason, don't debate. Reason is from God, debate is from Satan. We went through this. You understand, God tells you, bring forth your strong reasoning. Bring forth your strong reasoning. And don't debate. Produce your cause, says the Lord. Bring forth your strong reasons, says the king of Jacob. I hope this video taught you, blessed you, and helped you. And you could take this up with fasting and praying because God wanted me to 
um, sound a trumpet and, you know, lift up my voice like a trumpet and show his people their transgressions in debating. Because debate is not from him, but to learn reasoning. Stay blessed, people of God.